Hello and welcome to this week's Paratech webinar. This episode is going to be on the elevator rescue kits that Paratech has. My name is Mike Uliberry. I am the Western Regional Sales Manager. Some of the upcoming webinars that we're going to have are going to be on um, structure collapse rescue and you'll see the dates on those that will be coming to you uh, throughout the month of October and into the first part of November. The history of Paratech, uh, just a quick review on everything that has been happening over the decades. One of the challenges is to always increase the ability to make effective uh, rescue equipment for um, the fire service and first responders. And one of those challenges was met with the elevator support kit and then moving forward into the newer elevator shaft rescue kit. As always, what we mentioned in these webinars, PowerPoint presentation is for informational purposes only. No substitution for good hands-on training taught by qualified instructors and regular hands-on trainings necessary to become proficient with your equipment and skills. Improper use of any of the equipment may cause serious injury or death. So always think safe, act safe, and be safe. The elevator support unit uh, adapter kit was developed years ago and this was able to be used in conjunction with the Acme thread struts and extensions as a means of a way to secure an elevator that was stuck in between floors in case uh, for some reason the elevator was not locked in position and could potentially have um, movement as you had the doors open um, and we're trying to get people out of there. This is an example of that kit being used um, just for that very purpose right there. So it was just meant for stability and to hold that uh, in position so that you could uh, get people that were stuck in that elevator car uh, back out again safely. The newer elevator shaft rescue kit. Uh, this new kit uh, was designed in conjunction with City of Chicago uh, IFSI University of uh, Illinois Fire Service Institute Rescue and the the re end result was a kit that allowed a artificial high point to be designed and used with your Acme thread struts and extensions. It is very quick and easy um, but it, it solves that problem that has been around forever of how to get a good artificial high point to retrieve people from an elevator shaft, especially on a long um, blind shaft or express shaft uh, elevator system. A lot of the pictures you're going to see in this webinar stem from the original uh, folks in Chicago that were doing this, as well as with um, training that I did out in my region with Las Vegas City Fire Department. When you look at the setup of the, the ESR, as we bring it into play, um, you'll notice on some of these pictures that you'll see like the orange line that's tied to the horizontal strut going across at the T um, junction. And that is just for a tie back. That is to make sure that as we are bringing the unit into the elevator shaft, we have it tied off on the top and really something securing through the D-ring handles so that if for some reason it slipped and fell into the shaft, neither end um, could fall in. As you look at the components on here, the D-ring handle at the bottom can be used, as you see, as a change of direction. And we always maintain the best practice principle as far as having your belay line uh, maintain ground level height uh, as we would with any other artificial high point. As we bring this into position, and I mentioned the taglines that are on it, also have the rescue personnel on limit restrictors as far as travel so they do not um, have the potential to um, fall into the open elevator shaft. But we put the taglines on just as I mentioned so that as we put this unit into position, um, we eliminate the possibility of it possibly um, falling, especially if the bottom section where the threaded section is that goes into the bottom um, hinged bases, if that were to fall and slip out of the non-moving end of that strut. So always make sure we have a tie back on there. 
once the unit is into position, then we would like to see it at a 15 degree angle. And as you look through the kit, you will notice that the base plates for the bottom that have the rubber compressions on the bottom have the D-ring handle. They also have an adjustment point that you can see on the picture to the left where I have the yellow arrow. That adjustment point is so that I can lift that pin up and adjust the angle back so that I have that 15 degree um, slant so that I can, as I pressurize the struts with the, the Paratech hammer or a fire service spanner wrench, and I can press that, compress the rubber down that I have my uh, angle so that I actually build that wedge truss system so that it can support the load. There are many ways to rig this system um, and the assemble of it. So uh, we'll have a video that we will uh, go to and show uh, our training manager, Nigel Leatherby, going through the process of the build of the ESR system, as well as some questions on the rope rigging aspect of it. As with any other rigging uh, system that you could do in uh, the fire service or first responder world, there are many ways to get that job done. The examples that are shown in the video and that are in most of these pictures here demonstrate a belay line ground level with a pre-rig CMC 4 to 1 uh, confined space uh, pulley system in there um, with various lengths of, of rope. Those could be, uh, you can get them in any length that you desire so that you have um, the ultimate reach that you need for the rescue ops in your area. Um, this also could be done with a tandem tension system, could be done with a lowering system with a belay line ground level that you then convert your lower into a haul system off the D-ring and off another anchor point. Um, that, like I said, there are many ways to get this done, but this just gives you a very rapid, quick, secure artificial high point um, that you can use for this type of uh, elevator call. Uh, we'll also have online today a representative from CMC so that as if any of you have any more technical questions on the rope aspect of utilizing this kit um, and what they have available then they will be available for you to um, go ahead and type your call, uh, questions in and they can give you the answers uh, right there as well. Hello I'm Nigel Leatherby training manager with Paratech. I'm here today to go over the elevator rescue kit the elevator rescue kit consists of adjustable angle bases, rubber angle feet, standard angle bases, corner brackets, shoring hammer. The struts we're going to use today are going to be our 56 to 88 inch acne strut, 37 to 58 inch acne strut, two 24 inch Acme strut extensions, and that's gonna be suitable for what I need for this elevator doorway behind me. Okay, the assembly of the elevator rescue kit. First, we're gonna assemble the legs to go up into the, the doorway. Then we're gonna assemble the, the horizontal strut. Then we're gonna put it into place. That's the easiest way to do it because it keeps everything square and nothing moves around on you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the adjustable angle base close to the doorway, but not at, right at the doorway. Then we're going to bring the struts in. Extensions are going to go on the struts. Then we're going to put the corner 
Grease is on. Make sure everything's locked in. And finally, the top strap is on. Always remember to adjust the threaded shaft out of ways. Ready? So it's in the place. Now we'll put our rubber angle bases on. It's going to be ready to be lifted into place. Now we can edge our struts up a little bit closer. We can raise up. Ready, Andrew? Check, they're straight. Once they're straight, we can tighten the struts into place. Snug the top one up. The threaded shaft cannot be over halfway out of this tube. The two yellow bars are the adjustment. So halfway, the, the Acme threaded shaft has got to be no more than halfway out of the tube. Then we're ready for the anchor straps and the rigging to go on. Now our rescue system is in place. We can attach our Anchor, anchor strap. Then we can come in with our CMC CSR2 4 to 1. Ready to go. We can also attach a rope down to a change of direction if we need. Okay, it's all set up, but I'm not familiar with rope, rope systems. So I'm gonna invite Art Massio, who's a, a representative for CMC that can go in detail over the equipment that we're using. Hi, I'm Art Massio with CMC Rescue, and today I wanna to talk to you about the CSR2 system. As you can see with the Paratech Elevator Rescue Kit, it's a quick setup when time is of the essence. So we have in mind the CSR2 system for that same reason. It's a pre-built system, four to one, out of the bag. You just bring it out, clip it to your anchor point, and you're ready to rock and roll. As you can see, we have two double pulleys, top and bottom. They both have swivel components on them that will keep twisting out of the rescue. This one in particular is an 11 millimeter rope. It also comes in a half inch rope. It is a non-toothed swivel uh, on both pulleys, which is a one directional pulley. Once you go all the way to the top, it doesn't have the danger of bottoming out and getting jammed. You have a release rope that you can just pull to let that back out. Uh, everything is built out of a solid block of aluminum, so it's, it's very high strength with 44 kN. Our standard system comes in with a 200 foot length of rope pre-built. That gives you about 50 foot of throw, but we can make these in any length that you like to accommodate for the rescue that you have in mind. Hello, so uh, we're trying to solve some uh, technical issues that we ha had not run into before. Uh, some echoing and that. Uh, we're trying something and we can answer this question again. So the, the question is about anchoring points uh, for a location of mechanical advantage systems in corridors. Uh, that's always a tough thing in elevator shaft rescue is to find a point uh, to anchor to or to run a hall system down a hallway. Uh, people have lots of times to do jam holds and hallways and other things like that. Um, 
the nice thing with our system is if you're really struggling to find some anchor points that are actually going to be usable for a rope rescue system, uh, is you can run your whole system um, right off uh, the elevator shaft rescue kit. So you saw Nigel in the video where he showed the rope. You could run it down to that ring. You could run your descent control device or whatever you're using right to that ring, uh, run it up to the top. And whether you're using the CR, uh, CSR2 kit as a, as a haul system. Okay, so <clears throat> I think Mike pretty much explained it really well. Um, everyone knows that when you get into an elevator uh, rescue, it's notorious for not having any kind of structural um, uh, anchor points available to you. So having a system, a high redirectional system like a Paratech system is pretty essential for a successful rescue. Uh, it allows a really good connection point to our system in particular. So um, the CSR2 system, when connecting to the Paratech system, it's just uh, one sling goes on and you immediately have access to the uh, rescue equipment. So everything's pre-built in the bag. Uh, standard systems come in with 200 feet of rope. So that gives you about 50 foot of throw. It's a four to one pre-built system. And I can go more into detail that, uh, if you guys want. But uh, other than not having a, a paratech system, you would have to rely on some kind of structural item, such as a column, which is really um, hard to come by, and you don't want to walk into a rescue unprepared for something like that. Hello, uh, this is Michael Weiss again. Uh, we apologize for the technical difficulties, um, something that had not occurred before with us, but uh, I'm glad that we managed to solve the echo problem and actually give you some information um, like many things in technical rescue and especially rope rescue, uh, it, it's tough to go through all the different variables that, uh, that you can go through. If you have more questions, more specific questions, you have pictures of your setups or anything else like that that you'd like to run by us to see if uh, what our opinion is of them, uh, Art and myself and, and our other RSMs with Paratech would be happy to answer your questions. Uh, just contact us. Uh, there will be a recording of this video on paratech.com forward slash webinars if you want to review it or see any of our other uh, workshops and webinars. Uh, we really appreciate uh, the attendance that we're getting on these things and we uh, appreciate your interest in our product and in CMC's product uh, with the CSR2 and, and we thank Art for joining us to give us uh, expertise on this. And uh, again, so we're going to close out now. Uh, We'll be on for a little while for you to ask uh, more questions. Uh, after this ends, uh, we'll stay on for a little bit. But we really appreciate you attending, and thank you very much from Paratech.